Hi everyone, I'm Mark Leeming from the One Minute Preacher, where every Thursday morning I release a video just like this one, so please do consider subscribing. Now, an often overlooked analogy used by Jesus is found in Luke chapter 17. He said, suppose a servant came in from working the fields. Would his master say to him, hey, get cleaned up, make your own supper, relax, take it easy, and when you feel like it, come and make my supper and wait on me. That just wouldn't happen because the servant's duty is to put his master's needs ahead of his own. And likewise, Jesus said, that is the attitude that we should have when it comes to serving God. Such thinking is a radical departure from the modern Christian mindset. The most blatant example that I can think of is that clip on YouTube of Joel Olstein's wife where she says that as Christians, we shouldn't do good because it pleases God and that's what God wants, but rather it will end up making us happy and there's nothing more that God wants than for us to be happy. Well, obviously that's way out there and most wouldn't admit to something so blatant and overt. And yet I'd argue that a subtle version still exists in the hearts and minds of all of us because why wouldn't it? We live in a completely narcissistic culture. We're bombarded daily with messages that we are the center of the universe, that it's all about us, our needs, our wants, our desires, our happiness. So our perception of who Christ was and his mission becomes clouded it seems to bounce right off of us. We can read that Jesus is a suffering servant spoken of in the Old Testament. We can read his own words where he said that he came not to be served, but rather to serve and to give his life as a ransom for the many. And yet these things just seem to, they have a tendency to bounce right off of us. And so I'd argue that on a daily basis, we need to be asking ourselves, are we behaving? as servants of God, or are we behaving more as though we are God's master? I'll leave that thought with you anyway. And the link that's appearing up above is from last week's video. Please click on that if you haven't already, and I'll see you next Thursday.